this is ASUS VivoBook 17 and today we're going to reinstall Windows 11 in it. So I created my bootable Windows 11 thumb drive in UEFI environment. If you'd like to know how to create one you can check the video link would be in the description. Once it connected make sure you connect your charger as well. And then we need to press the power button and to get into BIOS we need to keep pressing F2. F2 for this model to get access into the BIOS. Sometimes it takes time, this machine is quite slow and the screen could go, go black, completely dark like that, but that's absolutely fine. All right, so as you can see, this is high profile graphics illustration. This one shows the edge mode for BIOS. There are a couple of modes, one of them called advanced. Once you change F7, once you press on F7, it's going to take you to advanced mode. Again, if you press F7, it's going to get into edge mode, okay? Uh, edge mode also good to change the boot option, boot priority. To change the current boot settings, we need to get into advanced. And from advanced option, we need to find USB configuration, and it has to be enabled. Regardless, the legacy or EUFI, it has to be enabled. Then we're going to get into security. From here, we need to find secure boot. That has to be enabled. I don't see any TPM service here. So if you do see TPM, make sure you turn it on or leave it as available. Okay. These are the couple of settings, to be honest. There is nothing too much to do. Then we're going to get into save and changes. From here, what you're going to do, you're going to press F10 or right here, click enter. Now it's going to start up. So sometimes when you press F tool, that might take you to the temporary boot option. If it doesn't, then you need to go back to the BIOS again by pressing F2. And from here, we can change the boot priority option by dragging it on the top and then save again. This time when it restart, it should load up from the USB bootable thumb drive. We're going to press no because we are not upgrading it. We are reinstalling it. So I'm going to press no. Now it's going to load up to the main page. Once it's loaded up, we need to accept the terms condition, select some preferences. And then before you get into the main drive, I just need to warn you. When you get into the main drive, where are you going to install the windows? Before you delete any partition, please back up your data. If you don't, you can lose every single thing. So please bear in mind. As you can see here now, we're going to hit next. Accept the terms and condition. Next again. And this is the main thing. So before you delete it, make sure you back up your data. All right. So I'm going to delete every single partition. I just want to keep single partition for the entire drive one by one yep now you're going to hit next and once you hit next it's going to load up copy every single files and folders to the windows directory that might takes five to ten minutes it depends how fast is your laptop and then pretty much that's all so we're going to wait until the end to see if the boot has done correctly if the reboot is successful or not. So finally, it's done. So 
So finally it's done. As you can see, this one logged it correctly. We might have some drivers issue. So we need to update the drivers, then everything should be fine. If you do have any question, make sure you leave it in the comment section. And please like and subscribe. Thanks.